and in this video we are going to discuss how to use the save speech without analytics button in the debate learning paperless system. One thing to note before uh, we start showing you how to implement and use the system is that you should talk to your coaches first because each coach has a different philosophy as to whether analytics and theory arguments should be in a speech document or not. But with that said, I will show you how to set it up and make it usable inside of the debate learning paperless system. So first, I'll assume you've installed LibreOffice and you watched the video that is on the screen right now and have it all set up and ready to go. So we will look here at this random file that I kind of popped open. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to Mac Tools, Macros, Edit Macros, and then over here it says Debate Learning. You'll double click on that, and then you'll double click on Module 1. Now you'll notice there's a bunch of green arrows here. All of those green arrows are different macros that are being called upon for the debate, for the paperless system to work. What I need you to do is to click on Save File because this macro right here is the one that you are going that is going to be called upon for the saving of the uh, speech document without analytics. So, first thing you need to do is you need to know the exact location and file path for your triple o speech dot odt file so for example i have this folder right here and this folder has my speech document that i'm using and if i click right here it shows me the file path you want to make sure that your operating system show or you want to make sure that it is tailored to your operating system because some operating system uses these slashes in different directions. So make sure that it is correct and your file path is absolutely spot on because if it is incorrect, it won't work. So you'll notice my speech doc is, or my double O, tri triple O speech doc is there. Here's the file path. And when we look over here, you see it right here. That is the file path for that speech document. So what this line is doing right here in the code is it is copying your speech document to a different file called just speech. Now you need to know the precise location as to where you want to put it. I chose to put it in that same folder. So in that speeches with a Z folder, I don't have a speech document here and that is okay. But what you do need to do is make sure you know the uh, file location, the file path that is going to be used, and then you're going to insert it here, and then you'll just type that into there. Now this portion, whatever you end up calling the speech doc that speech document, needs to be the exact same as right here because this next line is going to take that copy of the file and rename it based upon the tournament the round and the speech and so this also needs to be exactly the same file path as this right here because if it's not it won't work and it won't function. Hopefully you have gotten that figured out and now I'm going to show you how it works in action. So I am I have my speech doc open and it is ready to go and I'm going to show you this random file that already has analytics built into it. So I'm going to send over my extinction outweighs block and I'm going to extend across this block. So when I go over to the speech doc, I see that all of it is here that I just sent over. And if you look right here, up in the corner it says heading 5, which indicates that it is an analytic or theory argument. Now here's a tag, 
and tags are in heading four, so they're different. So I have my speech doc, it is prepared, it's ready to go, and I want to save it without the analytics. So I press the button, it will pop open this text box, and I will say random tournament, round two, demo. And it can be whatever tournament you're at, whatever round you are in, whatever speech, you get to insert it and make it whatever you want to. I'll click OK. And then it will have created inside of here my new speech document. So we'll click on that speech document and then we open it up and we see that all of the Extinction Outweighs stuff is gone because it was all in Heading 5. And if you notice that this block started with an analytic before going to this piece of evidence. So it has successfully removed all of your analytics and now has a file for you to transfer over to the other team. And in your actual speech document, you can see that it's still present. So hopefully you were able to get that all set up and see how it could be used inside of a debate round. I hope that it wasn't too complicated. If you have any complications, uh, have any questions about it, you can use the Contact Us link on the sidebar of this website to contact me and I can help you out with this. But hopefully it was helpful enough and you got it up and going. My name is Daniel Stout.